I'm Larry Anglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer here at Garmin's Flight Ops Center in Olathe, Kansas. Now, Garmin had a transponder-based, mandate-approved ADS-B solution early on with the GTX 330ES transponder. But like most other ADS-B transponders, you needed an approved WASP GPS to drive it. Now, that was a challenge for basic aircraft and buyers with limited budgets. What the market's really been waiting for is an all-in-one solution. That's an ADS-B transponder with a built-in WASP GPS. That's exactly what Garmin has done with its next generation ADS-B transponder, the GTX 345. They also have the GTX 335, which is an entry-level system. Now the 345 also has a built-in wireless weather and traffic receiver. I'm going to go fly that system in Garmin's DA40, but before I do that, Garmin's Jessica Koss is going to give us an overview on the system. So what we've done here with the GTX 345 and 335 uh, next generation ADS-B transponders is we've really kind of separated it out into two different markets. The market who's looking for an all-in-one integrated ADS-B solution um, that's transponder based that also includes built-in WAS and then the other mar side of the market that also wants uh, ADS-B in capabilities which ha can connect via Bluetooth to a tablet or portables. For customers without an installed display in the cockpit, the GTX 345 includes Bluetooth wireless connectivity capabilities, which can display and pull ADS-B in traffic and weather on a tablet running Garmin Pilot or ForeFlight, as well as the new portable Aera 660. For customers who already have a Garmin display installed in the cockpit, including the GTN 650, 750, the GNS 430W or 530W, the G500, G600, and G3X Touch, they can receive the ADS-B and benefits via the GTX 345 on their displays. So we're uh, airborne off the New Century Airport here in Kansas at uh, 3,500 feet on a pretty bumpy day. Uh, so Jessica, the uh, GTX 345R, the remote version of the uh, uh, transponder that's in this G1000 Diamond, what is it going to show on the uh, G1000 screens? On the G1000 on the MFD, we'll see traffic and weather, and then uh, since we have synthetic vision enabled on the G1000 in this aircraft, we'll also see the tar uh, traffic targets on the PFD. What ADS-B uh, weather targets are we going to see on the, uh, the screens? On, the G on this G1000 and the DA40, we'll, we'll receive uh, Nexrad and METARS, and we can show you those on the moving map and then also on the dedicated weather pages. Of course, the GTX 345R is an LRU, so it's wired into the G1000 suite, but the 345 also has a wireless capability. Uh, how does that play in the cockpit? In addition to displaying traffic and weather on an installed display in the cockpit, the transponder will also transmit traffic and weather via Bluetooth on tablets running Garmin Pilot or ForeFlight, and also to select portables, including the Aero, new Aero 660. Since the GTX 345 has a built-in AHARS, what can we do with that? You can leverage the built-in AHARS to display um, backup synthetic vision within Garmin Pilot, and then we can also display uh, attitude information on the 3D page uh, on the Aero 660. So let's not forget that the uh, GTX 345 is still a transponder, and uh, it's got all the traditional transponder controls that we've had on previous transponders. How does that uh, interact with the G1000? Any different than before? With regards to pilot interface, uh, pilots really won't notice a whole lot different. You'll still have your done button there, and then the transponder button looks the same. So in terms of entering your code and things like that, uh, pilots really won't notice anything different. We've priced these transponders lower than other all-in-one ADS-B transponders on the market. The GTX 335 starts at $29.95 and $37.95 with WAS, and the GTX 345 starts at $49.95 and 57.95 with WAS. So you can read a full report on Garmin's GTX 345 series transponders in the April 2016 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.